So, top five private label niches. Starting off number five, DIY and home improvement. So the reason I like this niche is because there are many products in this niche, they're very small, they're not so much lightweight, but there are a lot of products in this niche and there are a lot of niche in niche products. So therefore you'll have a, a broad niche or specialized niche and then a very specific niche. So in DIY tools and home improvement, there is a very specific niches in niches. So they can be winners you can identify. Right, number four, sports and outdoor. So sports and outdoor can be a great niche as there are quite a few customer bases. There are some dominating brands, but for the most part, you can compete in certain areas. So sports and outdoor, there are great margins in sports and outdoor, as well as an active customer base, especially on Amazon. Number three, baby and childcare. So this one, it can be a popular niche as a lot of consumers on Amazon are female. So a lot of the buyers you'll find um, will be buying excess products, things that aren't really necessary, but people buy them just for comfort for their new child. Obviously, they care about them a lot. So this is another uh, great niche. Another thing as well, a lot of the items are small, lightweight. So the reason I like this niche is there are, there are a lot of products within this niche and a lot of areas you can hone down on, just like with the sports and outdoor and the DIY tools niche. There are many um, successful Amazon sellers in this niche. Number two, home and garden. Now, the reason I like this niche is a lot of the products, there is, again, a deep field of niches within niches. There are a good customer base to it as well. So you can find those certain products on Amazon that aren't too much competitors, and you will be able to find your own uh, corner uh, to sell to. So number one of my top five private label niches is pet. The thing I like about the pet uh, niche is there are no real big dominating brands within that niche so you can buy dog toys balls throwers that kind of thing or um and things that cats climb on i'm not sure what they're called <laughs> so there are all kinds of products in that niche that you can focus on as well as there's no major brick brand dominance in in there so as far as those Go. Also, a lot of pet products are renewable items, so dog balls, chew toys, whatever. The dogs will bite them, rip them, and you have to buy more. So that's my reason for pets being number one niche. So that's my top five product level niches. Put me in the comments. Reply to me on YouTube whether you think that's a good, uh, fair assessment. Whether you agree with me, let me know.